These swords of mine need a true home. But you'll do for now. Well, what does that mean? Are you gonna kill us with your swords? <laughs> okay, we are here to fish. Because a fish might make Yona feel better. Popola said, hey yo dude, there's a fish to help Yona feel better. And I'm like, fuck yeah fish, I'll go get that fish. My life is to make Yona feel better. So here we are in this town to get the fish. And that's the story thus far. You're friends with that sexy postman, aren't you? What? <laughs> I just love a man in uniform. Oh, you're not. Well, you're pretty nice looking. I haven't seen the People are horny in this town. I hope he's all right. Where's the sexy postman? I want to see him. Uh, don't scare me like that. I'm concerned for this child. He's just staring at a wall. You know, I hear that when pets do that, there's something deeply wrong with them, and they should go to the vet. So I feel like this child might need to go to the doctor. Huh? Shaman fish? We're gonna go fishing. Oh, sure, sure. They're a cinch. Practically jump into the net, they do. But I won't do it for you. So take this pole and go fish one up yourself. Oh, and you can't catch them here at the pier. Go dip your line at the big beach on the west side of town. Let's head over to that beach the fisherman mentioned. We can't have anyone know what our ritual is. Goodbye! What? I bet I can come up with an awesome tongue twister before you can! What? Look at this guy. It's in the sun. It has a cute little cat face. <gasps> oh, I saw blood. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my goodness. Oh! Alright. Let's fish. <gasps> I got it! I got a fish! I got a shaman fish. We're all set. Let's get this back to Yona. So tired. Maybe you should sit down. Hello? I'm trying to talk to you, lady. You just don't want to be spoke at? Fine, bye. Hold it! Huh? I said hold it! Oh! How can you just ignore an I was woman trying to talk to you! Oh, I weep. For this generation. What a bitch! The children of this age are nothing but selfish, heart. Did you not ass. see me run around you in circles? Uh, are you talking about me? Oh, ignore her. We've a quest to complete. People like that are best left to their own devices. Oh! 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 oh the pain! What's wrong? Is everything okay? My illness has returned. It must have been the shock of seeing this rude, floating book. Rude? Book? Now, see here, madam. I'll have you know. You! You did this! Oh, what a terrible thing you are! Why, you insolent crone! How dare you address me like some common paperback! Vice, knock it off. You there, would you truly abandon a pitiful old woman to this cruel world? Are you asking me? Oh, do please ask me. I feel like I'm just promoting bad behavior. By thing yes, but whatever. How can you help me, <laughs> ma'am? Oh, good heavens! I can't believe how much cajoling that took. Our apologies, ma'am. 
I am at a loss as to what aid we could possibly give a woman who is so clearly able to talk her way into anything. I need you to go to the post office and tell them to deliver my mail. Oh yes, I will. I hear there's a sexy post office guy. I will definitely go to the post office. I can't office. fathom why they haven't been here yet. Oh, 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 the pain! Okay, okay, we're going. Look at us go! Let's go to the post office. Afternoon. Hey, so there's some old lady who yelled at us to come here and check on her mail and... Oh, you mean the lighthouse lady? The very same. Now, could you please deliver her parcels and silence her flapping gums? I'm sorry, mean? but I injured my leg. I won't be delivering anything for a while. Oh, that's too bad. Maybe we can. The hurt leg? What about your sacred postman's oath? Neither wind nor sleet nor terrible monsters of the night shall keep thee from. Hey, if your leg hurts, we'll just deliver it for you. Uh... Oh, that would be a huge help. Uh, just be careful, all right? That lady has a bit of a temper. You don't say. You know, since you're here... Oh, what is it now? You're from Popola's village, right? Yeah, how do you know? Huh? Well, you're dressed I thought there was a Popola in every village. Air about this must you, be... Or OP Popola. Anyway... Would you mind taking this letter to Popola when you go back? Sure. Is he the sexy uh, postman? Might as well take the postman's oath ourselves. I can't zoom. Can't I can't even tell if he's sexy. His his build looks sexy. I guess. I mean, he's got good posture. He looks young. He has a hat on, or I don't know. Love letter. Ooh. I can spy on their mail. My dearest beloved, please forgive the lateness of this letter. I have recently fallen quite ill and have had some difficulty finding a doctor in this foreign land. The people here, however, have treated me with great kindness and I now feel my body growing stronger by the day. If my recovery continues, I hope to attempt the journey home soon. I think about you every day and yearn for the moment when we can be together again. Please take care of yourself and know that I'm doing everything I can to return to you. Someone loves that lady. Ooh, we can spy on Popola's letter too. The office of the mayor of Seafront to Popola. I write to you regarding the urgent matter of the Eerie. 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 This is not Game of Thrones. The Eerie. Excuse me. As you know, shade activity in that area has been much increased of late, and we now fear the worst. Numerous letters to the village chief have yet to be returned, and our merchants have recently lost all contact with customers there. While Seafront has yet to be troubled by the shades, we fear their arrival is only a matter of time. I encourage your village to take all necessary steps to defend yourself from this terrible scourge. The loss of two outposts would be almost too much to bear. I hope to hear from you soon. You didn't even sign it. There's no signature. The lighthouse lady. Oh, well, she's gone. I don't hear the crone, and I'm sure I would if she were here. They call her the Lighthouse Lady, right? Well, let's go check the Lighthouse. There it what is. Sad waste of time this is. Vice is kind of an asshole. I don't know how I would like living in a tower like this. It's a lot of steps for an old person. Um... Oh, you. Bitch, I got your love letter! Raya, maybe be nicer to me. Jesus, my goodness. This what woman. do you want? Oh my god, she forgot already. We have retrieved your letter. The postman hurt his leg, that's why he... That's no excuse! It's his job to deliver the mail, no matter what! 
Didn't he take the postman's oath? She's mean. The thought that anyone would actually bother to write you a letter staggers the imagination. I think I'm on Vice's side. <laughs> Such a rude book. I'll have you know this is from someone very dear to me. Oh yeah, we know we've read it. <laughs> well, I suppose I should give you something for your trouble. And she's gonna give me like Werther's candies. <laughs> oh, a thousand gold. That's not bad. We need to get the shaman fish to Yona. Alright, let's go help Yona. Hey cutie pie, I got you some fish. Oh wait! I'm supposed to go to Devola? Hopla? Hang in there, okay? It's not gonna taste good, but I need you to take it anyway. Don't worry. I can handle it. That's what I like to hear. Morning. Hey. How you feeling? Better. It doesn't hurt anymore. That's great. <sighs> That's really great. Hey, what's that book? Oh, yeah. Guess I should introduce you. I am Grimoire Vice, wielder of Arcane. Oh, hi, Vicey. Now, see here. My name see is... See here! <laughs> Vice has been worried about you, too. Really? Aw, oh, thanks, Spicy. It appears impudence is the fruit of this family tree. Wow. Anyway, I need to go talk to Popla. Stay here and get some rest, alright? Alright. Thanks. I read your letter, Popla, sorry. Oh dear. What's wrong? It's from the mayor of Seafront. He says that a horde of shades have appeared in the area. That's not good. My weapon was practically useless against the giant shade we fought there. I wish there was some way to strengthen my weapon. You know, there's a little shop at the entrance to the junk heap that might be able to help. If you bring them materials, they should be able to use them to enhance your weapons. Interesting. Guess I'll check it out. Oh, but it won't be free, you know. Never is, it never is. I figure you'll need around a thousand gold or so. A thousand gold? If you need money, try visiting the tavern. And the old lady gave me a thousand gold. We're good. We're good. That's usually where people go when they're looking to hire someone. Good advice. Thanks. Might as well check out the tavern. Well, taverns are fun. Alright, let's get a pint. Oh, hello. Hey there. Wanna let a girl buy you a drink? Yes. Uh, I'm not old enough to drink, Devola. Also, isn't it morning? <laughs> when the sun never sets, what difference does it make? Ah, never mind. You'll understand. Wait, the sun never older. sets here. I do love this tavern, though. It's the nerve center of the whole village. Folks come here to relax, or swap stories, or even look for work. Come back whenever you have a free minute. You taking it easy today? I hardly ever see you around here this time of day. Hey, you got a moment? Because I've got some work for you. If it's paid work, I'm all ears. <laughs> Fair enough. Listen, my grandmother is running low on medicine, and I need you to gather some ingredients. I need three medicinal herbs, three berries, and three royal ferns. You may have to leave the village to find some of it, though, so I hope it's not too much of a bother. Um, no problem. Hey, you ever heard Devola and Popola sing? Yeah, dude, right now. She's singing right now. Literally right this moment. Okay. Is there really nothing that can cure the Black Scrawl? No medicine in the works of man can hope to stand against it. There has to be something out there. Perhaps a drug exists to temporarily ease the pain, but none can truly eradicate the disease. <sighs> but if the legend is true, then I hold the key to saving your sister. You're right. We're gonna save Yona and cure the Black Scrawl. That's the spirit, lad. 
What do you know about this junk heap? I guess there are ancient ruins buried there? It's full of old scrap and other weird stuff that no one understands. To get there, we have to cross the Iron Bridge to the northeast. Popolis says these huge metal crates used to cross that bridge all the time in the old world. Humans certainly were wise back then. Jacob, I'm hungry. I know, hold on. We have some old bread here. Hey there. Oh, welcome. Please, come in. What is this place? It's my shop. I'm the finest smith in these parts. Uh, usually. See, my brother and I build items from scrap we find in the junk heap. But we're a little low on supplies at the moment. The junk heap, you say? That's right. Folks say it used to be a military base. I don't know about that, but there's lots of great stuff in there. So, like, nobody's put off by a talking book. Like, they're used to flying talking books. No one seems to react to the book. It's not exactly the safest place in the world, but we gotta eat, you know? So it's just the two of you out here? Our father died when Gideon was very young. And Mom is... she's out right now. Getting supplies. But I'm sure she'll be... Mom's been gone for seven days. When's she coming back? Seven days? Mom went out That's to get cigarettes time. and never came home. It's getting harder to find good scrap. She probably had to go deeper into the heap. I said I'm hungry. Yeah, Mom probably left because Gideon is really annoying. So if you had the materials, would you be able to upgrade <laughs> our weapons? Well, yeah, but it's really dangerous in there right now, so we... No problem. We'll go. You... you will? I want to upgrade my weapon. And besides, you need inventory for your shop, right? Well, yes, but... It's settled then. What do you need? Well, to improve your weapon, I'll need three titanium alloys. You can get them from the defense robots around the mountain. Got it. And be careful, please. It's gotten really scary in there. Looks like the ancient machinery is still working. Not that we have any idea how it works. Ruins from ancient times, patrolled for eons by unstoppable machines. Yeah, and I bet they're full of rare materials. I hate being alone! I want to go find Mom! Gross, look at him flailing his arms. Ugh. What's wrong with him? Oh, hello again. We got your materials. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I'll get right to work on your weapon. Normally I charge you something, but you can have this one for free. Oh, wow, what a guy. Here you go. And thanks again. This ought to keep us going for a while longer. I want to find Mom! Ah, uh, shut up, Gideon. Is everything okay? I'm sorry. He's impatient for our mom to come back and thinks we should go look for her. We just need to wait, okay? She'll be back soon. I don't want to wait! I want to find Mom! Yes, yes, I know. We're off to search for the misplaced mother, aren't we? You don't understand. Our mother is... Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Mom usually goes pretty deep inside the mountain. You're gonna need to use the elevator, so I'd better give you the activation code. Hurry up and find mom, okay? All right, grown up child. Let's go find mom. He said their mom would be somewhere deep inside the mountain, right? If I may ask, what is it that possesses you to meddle in the affairs of these children? Yona and I both know what it feels like to miss your mother. You can't possibly believe their mother managed to fight her way down here. Um, or, for that matter, that she has been collecting scrap metal for a solid week. Oh, 
believe in your eyes, lad. The woman is clearly... She's alive. Miracles don't happen if you don't believe in them, okay? Miracles? Yeah. Unauthorized transports will be eliminated. Miss Bob's ill. It appears that only machines remain in this infernal place. Machines! What's going on? They're, they exist here too. like a Tonka truck. Oh, we did it! We did it! Just in time. It's a woman, and she's dead. She has a purse. I fear we have discovered the delinquent mother. So who's this other person? This bag has nice clothes in it, and money too. Wait, is, was mom a prostitute? <laughs> Why would she bring this stuff here? It would seem she abandoned her children to seek comfort in the arms Woes. of a swain. Woes. <laughs> Oh, that's awful. So much for miracles. Instead, we have discovered the worst possible truth. What will you tell the children? I don't know. I mean, look at this. Take her purse? What am I doing? What's this? I took her A perfume. Perfume bottle? It smells of roses. I guess we should bring this back to them. Where's mom? She's in heaven now. I couldn't find her. Who's talking? Oh, I get to choose. What should we say? So we're gonna just say the truth. This kid deserves the truth. She's, uh... She's in heaven now. What? It's true. Your mother's left this world. For another man to get dirty in the basement of the robots. Liar! I don't believe you! He left! That might be the best thing Did we've done all game. Die alone? <laughs> uh, well, it's okay. I know all about it. Just tell me. Did she die with the one she loved? We found two bodies. It appears they left this life as one. Okay. That's okay. Come again? Mom was always so frustrated, you know? Torn between her duty to us and her heart. I think... I think maybe this is for the best. Are you saying you forgive her? I mean, she's my mom, you know? The only one I'll ever have. We found this next to her. This is Mom's perfume. It smells like her. Damn it. I can't let myself cry. Let the feelings flow, Jacob. If Gideon sees me like this... D Gideon's fine. I hope I did the right thing. Hey, safe travels, okay? And thank you. For everything. Your actions were just. Never doubt it. Let's visit the area. They've got shades there. Indeed. And we may just find a sealed verse besides. What could have caused these shades to appear in such force? I don't know. But they're all over the village, too. Then we need to go help. We might be able to find a sealed verse while we're at it. Uh, 
Oh, oh my. What am I what am I looking at? Is that his arm? Oh, it's that thing again. Yeah, it's so gross. I thought I was gonna crush it like a soda can. <laughs> I'll like, take do like a one. flex. You worry in front about of the rest. <laughs> Whoa. She like Goku jumped out of here. Where the hell did she go? Get out, half breed. Ow! That hits here. home too much. <laughs> don't want you. Call me a half breed. How did they know? She's trying to help you. Don't defend me. Kaine, sorry to keep you. Why are these people saying such horrible things about you? Whatever. It's all true anyway. Excellent. <laughs> Kaine, I'll drive him to you. Get up there and wait for him. All right, watch yourself. Oh, weird. I want to kill all of those little things. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's pole dancing. This ends now, asshole. <laughs> oh, but she's crying. It's me, Grandma. What? Oh, how you've grown. Kaine, what's wrong? Oh, Grandma? It gladdens my heart to finally see you again. Grandma? Come, Kaine. Come to your grandma's side. You've been lonely for so, so long. It's a trick! So much pain, so much despair. Why go on living anymore? Kaine? Is that it? Hmm? Are you finished yet? Don't speak to your grandma like... You're going to stop talking now. And then I'm going to slowly walk over to you, cram my hand inside your goddamn bitch-ass chest, and pull out your fucking heart! She is so mad. She is an angry girl. <laughs> Oh wow. Well that'll that'll do it. <laughs> Kaine! 
I think she intends to perish where yeah, she lies. I guess lies. it's just there forever. And it's gonna truth, start to smell. death is the greatest comfort we can offer her. That's not your decision. Hmm? You this don't get to decide who stink. lives and who dies. She's alive. She has meaning and worth. Wait, and we're she going go? to save her. Everyone has something to live for. Even Kaine. Even Yona. Grandma, can I rest now? I'm so tired. Kaine, Kaine over, here. over here! Don't give up! You're stronger than that! Don't you dare give up now! This woman is more trouble than she's worth. That's it. Come on. You're going to live, Kaine. Live. My four. What? <laughs> oh. I had my revenge, and now it's over. Oh, now, see here, this is rich. Vice? We help you in some mad quest for vengeance, and now you think to bid us adieu? How can a fighter so skilled be cursed with such a thick head? A true warrior would fight. They would give all in the service of their friends. Friends? That's right. He's right. Kaine, we're friends now. Uh, see here, that was hardly the point. Okay, <laughs> then what is the point? We're friends uh, now. Kaine, we need your help. Will you fight with us? Fool, you cannot simply ask her outright. There is a proper order to these matters. One must ease into the topic with carefully considered words before commencing Grimm negotiations. Book. Uh, book? How dare you? I am Grimoire Vice, wielder of arcane... Vice, then. Do not abbreviate my name. You're an ass. But you're right. I can't just live for revenge. You mean, you're coming with us? These swords of mine need a true home. But you'll do for now. So, Black Scroll got your sister, huh? Yeah, and we need the sealed verses to cure her. Gotcha. <laughs> what is it? Well, I'm not sure if this will help, but I know a guy who has the same disease. But I know a guy. I love that. Oh, but hey, I know a guy. He's a king, actually. And his kingdom has been trying to find a cure for a while. It's possible they may have something. You think they may have discovered a cure? I said it's possible. I didn't say it happened. Anyway, the place is called Facade. It's deep within the desert. We should go check it out. If nothing else, we might be able to find some clues there. Indeed. And if this proves successful, it would certainly make our task a good deal easier. How does one reach the desert? We need to head back to the village, then lead by the East Gate. I imagine a tome such as myself will find an arid desert climate quite delightful. Hey. What's up? I'll wait outside. What? Why? It's way safer inside the village. It's fine. I like being alone. If you head out from another exit, I'll just meet you there. You sure? I know Yona would be really excited to meet you. <sighs> Don't force the issue now. Her mind is clearly made up. Not everyone loves the company of others as much as you. Hmm? All right. I won't push it. See you in a bit. So, what's facade like? It's strange. Let's just leave it at that. Stranger than a boorish young woman who battles monsters in her undergarments. <sighs> snap. Let's go. Snip, snap. But got her. She didn't even have 
What is this? A fountain? It's a sand fountain. What manner of place? I think it's a graveyard. The headstones seem to be lacking names. Also, why do they shine as if they were carved from the rock just yesterday? The gate is sealed tight. Well, great. Guess we're not getting in. Where, where is she going? Oh! Are kind of got you know these guys, Kaine? Not exactly. I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. Wait, I hate to see you leave, but I like to watch you go. Something like that. There's a song about checking a out while booties. Back, I saved a local kid from a pack of wolves. Ever since, this town's welcomed me with open arms. Gonna be a pretty screwed up place if they let me in, huh? <laughs> the king lives in the big building. Figure out the rest for yourself. What about you? I'll stay here. I hate crap like this. I don't know whether to thank you or wish you ill. I guess you just don't say anything I suppose about. a quick stroll about town is in order. The language they use here is pretty crazy. So, uh, good luck with that. Okay, smarty pants. <laughs> oh. It's a cute voice. Um, what are they saying? Fascinating. They speak a language I have never before encountered. I feel bad that I can't understand them. You could speak a thousand tongues and still fail if you lack knowledge of another's culture. I'd wager that huge structure is the king's manor. How do we even get there? With willpower and smarts, my lad. Oh, willpower and smarts. I have that, I think. No entry. And after we finally made it all this way. Oh, this is pointless. Let us go back. Oh, it's okay. Am I stealing it or am I helping? <laughs> you messed up, I'm like stealing all the stuff. But I know Matthias is better than that. He's a nice kid. This one lacks the power of speech. Perhaps she can communicate through gesture. Let me see. Thank you. You're welcome. I am Fira. How the hell does Vice know that from the gestures? Do you need help? Yes. We came here to talk to One your king. would assume the gestures would be in the other language if they were if she's spelling out words. But it turns out we can't actually talk to anyone. Yeah, the hats remind me of the pyramid things from uh, was it Resident Evil? <laughs> pyramid head. I This is can... where he comes from, this village. <laughs> guide you? Oh, she will act as our guide. How fortuitous. But first, I must explain this town. We really just need to see the king. No, there are rules to follow. Follow me. Well, there you have it. Rule 
106? Is rule 106 the reason for your labyrinthine system of staircases? Well, I suppose eccentric people deserve an eccentric town. One hundred fifteen thousand and seventeen. Oh, come now. What could possibly be the point of such an absurd rule? Hold on. Your people are still making rules? Of all the idiocy. I could never live in this city. As her little sister, for sure. <laughs> She's so cute. Look how chill I'm at. Look, I'm so relaxed. Ah, so the aristocracy lives in the top levels. While the commoners subsist below. Seems like a rather unpleasant rule for those on the bottom. Does this girl plan to drag us about the entire town in this fashion? She's just following the rules, Vice. No, I'm enjoying the tour actually. It's cute. Show me more. Whoa. Whoa, those are like modern signs. The plot thickens. Strange, A strange thing, thing store. store? Such as. Yeah, that is pretty strange. Surfboards. Unkit. I was beginning to suspect that. Does he need to get a mask? Oh, we're done. Thanks. These rules are enough to make a sensible man reach for the noose. I don't know how you survive in a place with so many inconvenient prescripts. You're a good citizen, Fira. Oh, there's no king. You have no king? All that for nothing? Understanding your language. I believe I will be able to speak with this advisor myself. Wow. We need to talk to the prince. My patience for this kind of thing has long ago evaporated. It's not your fault, Fira. Let's go back to Kaine for now. Slow down, I can barely... The person who saved me... Surely you don't mean Kaine. Kaine helps you. This foul-mouthed hussy... Hussy! Piss off, book. You guys done or what? Kainda! What's going on? 
海南在いたした決体ぞと来たざって風吉いさたいとだざゆりせいちたざいらと金でんたんだよりえアルテルはゾンゾスチギュータとアラタイチクルギタイサあおギュシュでアルテルはザーうん。Why they make a bunch of rules that contradict each other? This is their way and their system of laws. As outsiders, we have no say in the matter. Now, Frida, Elpa, Kareta. That rule only forbids your people from entering the temple, right? So why not ask an outsider to save your prince? Oh, and what luck! We just happen to have an outsider who can't stop meddling in the affairs of others right here. Wow, Vice. Da ira to, kindenchi deru to. I'm going to. Fira told me about Rule 1024. You know that one, right? Rule 1024. You must honor the request of any outsider owed a debt. That's how it goes, right, Fira? Why did I ever agree to travel with such a pack of do-gooders? Let's move. Okie dokie, we gotta go save the prince. I hate to see you go, but I love to watch the news.